Hello folks, welcome back to the channel, Farm Rainbow Stream here. Here we are on our 10 million pound case farm, and as you can see, we've got a tractor here with a mulcher because, as you can tell by the title of the we're going to be doing logging over the winter now because, yeah, we're in winter now, and really there's nothing to do until spring now, until like March now, when we do some more contracts and that, so I thought, pick it, let's get some logging done because. We still need to pay off the ten million dollar loan, or ten million pounds. Oh uh, yeah, so let's go and head over. There's not as expensive money lots of more wooden, so let's get our base of operations set up because yeah, this will take a while to do. And here we are arriving at our site, so let's go and put this over here. So yeah, we've got our lorry over here. Obviously, I think it was in the last episode we got on leases, if not done it off camera. It's been a while since I've done an episode on here, so yeah. We release a take hander with a winch support. And we've got a tractor with a train at. Let's do small loads at a time. About 8 metres I'm going to do now, because... Yeah, that's just basically the size of the train we've got. Shorts with anything to use market. Nothing of interest. <laughs> yeah, funny enough, the one we're using at the moment on lease. The Impex Hannibal T50, that is on sale now for 31% off. But yeah, not going to do that, so... What I need to do, 8 meters, that is perfect, so... Since we've not seen each other, I've gone and purchased additional wooden, so we've got this wooden over here. Also, we've got these wooden over here to do. On top of that, I've purchased the carpentry and sawmill, so if we go to our production tab, yeah, we'll go down here. Grain mill's still doing well, so yeah. We did have some number going in, that's a little bit of a test in that. So yeah, for now we're going to get planks and wood chips, and our wood chips will be used to make chip wood boards. So yeah, that's why I've got the planks on distributing, along with the wood chips and that. Actually, I think we can store these actually, so... Along with those. And if we go down here... Our feed mixer, and all the goods is a carpentry. So, actually, no, we do need the chip wood boards and that for furniture and wood chips as well. Well, wood chips is a byproduct and that. So, yeah, no, let's do that. So, we'll set that to distribute in. Wood chips we'll set to store or distribute in. Yeah, distribute in. Wood chips will be distributed. So, now that's all underway. We're going to be running out of flour very soon but yeah the bread and that so we can sell that in the next episode because we look at our prices and go down to bread and that yeah that is worth 5300 at the moment we can sell it so I think we will now but for now go and cut these so trees, 35 meters for large ones. So yeah, we should get plenty of this. So where we said was I get our first load on and then we'll see how much we can fill up the soil And there we go. So we've got our first load of logs. Got a little bit of logs left over from our first little cuts in session here. So all the logs there we go over here. So we've got a way station out to the left. And the trigger point sold the logs are here now. So let's see how much this is gonna be because I'll do enough that's gonna last us at least in this episode for what? A couple of months or so, a few months. See so yeah, that's over there, so I think the trigger for it is just over here. And there we go, 27,000 years of wood has just gone in. And how much of that production has that fit up? So, overall, not too bad. And we want to work out the ratios here. So, 
We've got 420 litres to 490, 48 cycles per month, so in terms of the required wood, per month that is 20,000 litres. So we've got a month's worth of wood here, so let's get on to fill this up to its max, and I'll see where this brings us afterwards once we're done for all this. And hopefully by then, we may be in Changra, I think, yeah, we'll just get us up for the rest of the day. Get enough trees cut down, and then yeah, I think that's where we'll go from there. And there we go, we are into February now, so we've gone and yeah, we've just done all the timbering, and yeah, we've got enough lumber at the moment for I think it's gonna be about a six month supply net. And as you can see, we are loaded up with all the veggies and that, along with our furniture, which is under 8,000 litres and 20,000 litres of bread. So yeah, I'm sending those two fields, those two forestry areas, so north and south of the, uh, what was it, sawmill net. And yeah, that left us with 400 grand, and I've spent 80 grand on a oil mill as well, because I was thinking of can we utilise the corn and soybeans in one storage? Yes, we can sell them in June or July, I think it is, I don't know, maximum peak price and that. But I think, actually, we get more money from it if we just say, you know what, let's convert them into some more profitable items, because using the extended oil mod and that, we can get a fair bunch from this, so let's sell what we've got at the moment and see just how much money we can get from this. So right, here we are in that, so we need to sell this at the sell every container, which is just over there to our left. So yeah, let's go and see how much money we get. So at the moment we're on 324 grand. Down to be able to sell this all in one go, but also I know the FPS is having a bit of a minor death as it usually does with me in that. Obviously that's been on last gen in that. Yeah, our run score is quite good at the moment, so we should get some bonuses from this as well. So let's see how much we get in total towards the end of this. And already we are at over half a mil, and so I'm trying to get us into position just so that we can just easily sell these items. Nope, does not want to play ball. There we go. See, so yeah, that should be all just set now. So let's go and grab. Oh no! Don't need to fall out. So can we pick these ones up? I know they're seven. So yeah, let's just see if these be in that. We should have a pretty penny afterwards. All said and done, we are at five hundred and twenty-one grand. A couple of items here and there to sell. So. Too much. Here we go. So yeah, now we've got that done with. So yeah, maybe it's a bit of a tiny profit. However, we can make even more money. So we've all got that storage now to sell. So I'm thinking let's just go and sell our bulk new storage. Because yeah, at the moment we've got enough animal feed in that, so I'm not too worried about that. And it's not like with our 10,000 cows challenge on Corn Farm, we're going to need a massive bulk load of animal feed in that. At the moment for us, as we've just gone past the deer ship, I think. Have we gone past the deer ship? Yes, we have. But yeah, as I was saying, yeah, we don't need to worry about making the millions and millions of these to feed a month, so. What I'm going to do is sell all the sites we've got, so I've got some handy tools here that we can use, so let's go and grab the forest pickup, and this very convenient super dense train and that, so let's see how much sites we've got, I think we're looking around the was it 2 million years and that, so, and yes, if you look at the moment, silage and that, yeah, we're at peak 5, 6, 7, starting to go down. Yeah, we just missed the peak in that, but take it to the Amdealer and that, so... Uh, 
that's where it's at to... Ah, funny enough, just over there, so... Yeah, not going to be too much of a trip for us, so... Yeah, I do like the red beacons and that, so... Let's go grab our signage. So, there we go. We're at the pit and that, so... Let's go see how much we've got here, so... As you know, 3.18 million litres, so... This is going to definitely help us and that, so... That's going to be the thing as well, it's like... To be honest, when it comes to all the animal feed stuff and that, I'm going to just do... Five minutes at the moment. Our top priority is to pay off this loan, so... We've got 10 million to... Uh, yeah. Get back in what? I said about five years to that, what? Five, ten years? Here's five years I said I was going to try and get these all back, so I'm going to stick to that. And as well as the amount of size we're doing, potentially what we can do is go even further. So obviously we're in favour at the moment, so the window for planting cotton, which I did say we're going to do that because we can use those for dungeons and that to get big bolts amount of fabric, clothes and that, so currently we're already at. Of a minute or so. This is going to take a while, so let's get zoomed up and then let's go and sell it. So, we can start buying more fields if we wish, you know, rake up some land in, but I'm thinking, just keep what we've got for now, and start paying off this loan, so, I think that's what we're going to do, so, we're going to return you, and yeah, before we wrap things up, so yeah. We've got the extended oil plant here, so yeah, that's going to produce 70,000 litres of oil a month, so that should help us nicely. And also, one thing I want to look at is what we've got in terms with drills. Now, I know we've got planters and all that, so 320 or 240, so. And in terms with tractors. Any of these would do, so... Actually what I'm thinking... 
Let's bring out the cider now. How do we use that too much now? Only five hours or seven o'clock? Yes, yeah, me or heavy hauling tractor and that. Uh, yeah, they technically don't need the cultivators and all that on the farm. But they will help towards the contract work, so. Because, yeah, as we're approaching March, we're going to start getting more and more contracts coming in, and that's also going to help us to get our money in, to get that goal of paying off the 10 million loan off. So, if I remember correctly, we left the drills over here, so we are looking for the Momentum 30, so that is that one over there. Uh, yeah, just remind myself once again the difference is the fast riser now, always oh, actually prices, so not same prices, same more working speed, so I think we'll get you hooked up and hopefully with this we should be able to do cotton. Yes we can, so we can do cotton. So yeah, currently we've got grass on Yeah, so we've got grass on six, four and that and two. So I'm thinking if we do cotton on field seven, and then for one five, I'm thinking again with the whole oil mill and that, you know, get soybeans in again and get some corn in. in terms of planting windows for dough, so corn and soybeans, that is going to be April. So we're going to have a bit of a gap in March. Yeah, because I don't think we're going to be purchasing more fields. I'm tempted by that one, the grass will there, because, yeah, 55,000 per hectare, that is a 10 hectare field in that, but, I think for now we're going to make the wise choice, so, I think we've got enough, I don't know, I think we'll get some more food in the second. So, we are suited and so, thankfully, Field 7 is literally just here and that, so we have around 2.7 million at the moment. And I've got some ideas of how we can move this farm now, so first of all, let's go and get some folded. Yes, yeah, so I just want to see the application right now because I've got ways of hopefully improving the yield of this, so. We are drilling. Absolute silence in the cab, so that is good. We are putting down a fair bit of nitrogen as well, but one thing I will do as well is I'll go over this and actually, ooh, one thing I should check first of all is does this field need lime? So I think it's under precision farming than that. So, actually, the pH is perfect, so that's good. So, if we turn you off, have a little look here. So, expected yield 99%, yield potential 100%. So, all you need to do is just roll this and that 2.3 tons per hectare for the cotton. But one thing I want to do is, I think it's under animals, under bees. Yes, yeah, so I've got a selection of the beehive mods and that, so... Ooh, so we've got a car one or a little normal beehive, so... I'm thinking if I put one down here... So I went to put a fair few of these down, so... Yeah, I know we've got a new pallet location, but... We should have... Actually, you know what, let's go and put that down, because I was hoping we could get some yield bonuses, because I think you can get yield bonuses from bees and that, whether or not that is with or without precision, precision farming, I am not too sure on that part, but you now need somewhere for the honey to spawn, so do you want something like that here doing that, so they want these to be put down, fine. Maybe that will change when they're growing, but for now, Let's go and put some more beehives down, so I'm thinking of putting these along every field we've got, so also we've just got a little divide here, so 
let's put you know, a couple down as we're going along. Like so. And also from this we can get honey that we can sell. And also we have a good chance at pollinating our crops and that, so that is something also a bonus. And yeah, I know we've got 2.7 mil and yeah, I know we're almost, well, over a quarter of the way. But I am going to spend some more money on, yeah, I think a few things, some productions and that I'm thinking of. So yeah, some there. Can't go along the top, fair enough. So I'll put some along the roadside. So right, a fair few has been put down, and now I want to look at some productions and that, because we do have some good options that we can make money from, things like the whole metal and gems production. I'm going to be utilising that at some point. Also we've got that BG methane in that, that is extremely profitable. But yeah, so that starts with the apple tree, so... I think it's under the orchards here, so all we can get apples normally as part of the countryside and that. But also, I think it's also greenhouses. No, it's on the greenhouses. Oh no, it is, yeah, so these ones here. Apple trees group, so. Oh, okay, don't do that. <laughs> yeah, we need to figure out a way and location to put these, so we do have some grasslands over here and that, so there we go, so I'm going to put a fair few of these down four grand a piece, so not too bad, not too costly because yeah, I want to get a bunch of apples being produced they will require seed, fertilizer, manure and all that, so I do have, again, plans for that and that, so don't worry, it's all going to come together, so let's see if I can put any more down. We've done that, so yeah, I was able to place another two down, so now I want to get the juice production underway, so I'm thinking actually here would be very good, so I'm thinking bam, bam, and even a third one. So yeah, that's now down there, but now for the, what I want to use is, is it the production sheds? No, it's not that. Oh, I know it's part of the open air greenhouse mod by Mrs. Omatona, which I don't have, so bear me a sec. Bit of manure here, oh, so last bit, the first load of manure, do have another, I think about 45,000 years left as well, 46,000 years left in the manure pit at the mouth of the cows. That's in the way. Fine, let's move you out of the way. I thought I, thought I moved over to the left corner, but I guess I didn't. So, yeah, I've got the roller there ready. So, I want to roll the fields, obviously, in that. To get that entry up bonus. So, yeah, here's where we set it up. So, yeah, nice little spot. We've got some sea throws and all that in already, including the water. So, now let's go and put that manure in. So, that's going in. Uh, if we have a little look, there it all is. So now, all we need to do is skip ahead of time a little bit. Just wait for our friend to empty. And there we go. So, see how much the transport's over. So, yeah, that is all being sent over, I think. And now we should have some, yep. Yeah, Apples being produced, so at 6 o'clock, that's all going to get sent over to the juice production, so we can get some delicious apple juice. So, again, I'll be interested to see how much they are worth in that. But yeah, all of that is going to be in the next episode, so next episode we've got a few things to do, including finish off the drain off all our fields. Yeah, I do like the Stiger. It's all finished off in that. I think we'll go into March and April as well, we'll start progressing a bit, so we've got 
Brim's new, we've got Sage one to do, I think it's Sage this time. We can do bathing, so have a look what we've got. Yeah, and they've got the forest wagon in there, but also we've got the bathing in that, so... I think we can do bells instead of that. Yeah, I think I'll be trapped in that. Yeah, overall, we're looking good, so we're at two and a half go now. Obviously, we're still paying the ten pounds of interest in the terms of the ten in Adeno, so yeah, it's going to go down. But if everything comes up right, we should be looking good. And just for one more point of reference, apple juice is worth a lot of money at the moment, so. 5,000, that is above the demand, so I think we'll get our first bit of apple juice in March. So yeah, I think that's been it for today, and as always, hope you enjoyed the episode. I know it's been a while since I've done episodes and that, and I know it's been a while since I've done videos and that, but I am coming back to making videos. Just a lot of IRL stuff and that, and health issues that going on as always. But anyways, as always, hope you enjoyed the episode. If so, smash that button, comment down below. Please, I guess, if you're not, subscribe to